Heartland is back with episode 8 of season 16. Compared to the last week's episode, this one was a bit disappointing, but still, a lot happened that needs to be unpacked. We're here to recap and review what happened in this episode, which is called Running Down a Dream. Well, one of the overarching storylines of the episode was Amy teaching Lindy and Caleb how to barrel race. When Caleb learned that a woman named Sherry wanted to sell her school, which taught barrel racing but couldn't find a proper candidate, he was immediately interested. But Sherry was hesitant because she thought Tim looked down on barrel racing. However, Amy taught both Lindy and Caleb barrel racing. And in the end, Caleb raced Sherry to prove to her that he was serious about taking over the school. He lost the race, but Sherry agreed to sell them the school because she liked his enthusiasm. Although Caleb had a significant role in this, Sherry mainly agreed to sell the school because she saw how Tim interacted with Lindy. The relationship between Tim and Lindy was explored quite well in this episode. We saw Tim trying to do too much for her, but Amy made him realize he is too overbearing sometimes. She also told him about how he had made her feel like when she was a child and said Lindy shouldn't go through the same path that Amy did. That's when Tim realized he should slow down and give some space to Lindy and his patience with her made Sherry decide that her school would be in good hands. It has been nice to see Tim trying to learn from and fix his mistakes because he still has so much to learn about being a good father. He is open to learning though and that's what matters. Speaking of being a good father, guess who we saw in this episode? Logan's father. He surprised Logan and the viewers when he suddenly showed up at Heartland. Throughout the episode, Logan and his father went back on forth about moving to Nova Scotia, his father's hometown, and staying in Heartland. At first, his father said he got jobs for them there so they should leave soon. But Logan wasn't sure about it. He made it evident that he liked staying in Heartland. But after seeing his father hanging out with Uncle Jeff, who was a bad influence on his father, he decided they should leave for a fresh start. Nevertheless, Tim talked to Logan's father about his experience with Shane and how he is letting Shane work things out on his terms. This made Logan's father decide that he should also leave Logan alone for a while. So Logan will stay in Heartland while his father goes to the East. Another storyline of the episode was between Lou and Katie. Again, Lou was a bad parent. She promised Katie that they would go together to get Katie's ears pierced, but she forgot and went for a meeting instead. And when she didn't go with her after the meeting, Katie got her ears pierced alone. Both of them were pretty angry after this. Katie thought Lo was a great mother to Georgie as she was just there for her in Florida, but she was not there for Katie. Everything worked out in the end though when they both apologized. Lisa was also having problems in this episode. In the beginning, we learned that her dear horse platinum bow had an accident and was at the vet. She was also stressed about her investors who kept calling her and asking about the horse. Throughout the episode, Lisa kept talking about how she must change things about her business because she was too deep in with her investors. In the end, she learned that Platinum Bow just had a minor bruise and that he would be able to return to races soon. Still, we think Lisa will change something in her life in the following episodes. And the final storyline of the episode was the most boring one. It was about Jessica being heartbroken about what happened in New York and refusing to talk about it. She even had a great job offer from Ezra for an advertising campaign for a big brand. She declined it immediately and said she was helping Lou with the dude ranch. This was obviously her trying to escape from her problems. No matter what Tim said, she just acted like a baby and refused to talk. But Tim was adamant about helping her, so he put together some of her best photographs and tried to convince her to submit her portfolio for the campaign. She ended up being convinced, thankfully, and even won the job. She said the photo that got her the job was the one with Amy and Finn, and this made Amy really sad. It was evident that she was sad about Finn leaving Hudson. She texted him and asked if he made it home safely, to which Finn replied yes. He also thanked her for asking with a smiley face emoji, which made Amy smile. These are what happened in this week's episode. We're halfway through the season and we cannot say it's been good so far. We hope things take off in the second half of the season and Heartland doesn't disappoint us. What do you think about this episode and season 16 in general? Tell us about what you think in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to our channel for more Heartland content. See you soon!